Hello, friends and beautiful people. It's chilly up in my office. Hello, I promised I would go live today. It's going to be a quick one. Um, I'm doing lots of work today, so I wanted to fit this in um, and talk about the 99 portal, what is ending, what is beginning, because you can't have one without the other. Um, and also we've got Mars retrograde going on, so I'm going to talk about all those things real quick um, and how we might be feeling this on a personal level, on a collective level, and maybe give you a little bit more insight on how you can prepare mentally, physically, <laughs> emotionally for what's next. So we are obviously in a year where there are trigger events all over the place. We are working through, you know, wrapping up a lot of really dense, low vibe, energies and it may yes feel like we're right smack dab in the middle of it and it's not really feeling like things are easing up okay to the degree we might feel that things are not closing out or things are not energies aren't moving out or it seems like we can't seem to find our footing with the, the daily changes that are on our plate in front of us. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Tammy. And we may be feeling like, you know, it's, it's really stagnation, that nothing is moving, nothing is changing. But allow me to remind you of something. It is always going to feel that way. Stagnation. Or nothing is moving, nothing is shifting, nothing is closing out, nothing is coming in, okay? It's always going to feel that way to the degree that you are holding some sort of resistance to the possibilities of what could be next, okay? And a lot of our, let's just say, limited thinking that comes with a restriction around thinking about the possibility of what's next is that we are basing it on an ego level of personality and perspective on what has come before. You know, we've, we've gone through many cycles here on this planet and through thousands of years, we've gone through a lot of the same kinds of cycles, really. But understand that we are now in a cycle of accelerated ascension. That's the name of this group, <laughs> Global Acceleration of Ascension. We are very quickly and rapidly, even though it doesn't feel that way, wrapping up certain timelines, ways of being, paradigms and structures, that have outlived their service to humanity. And I'm talking about the greater service of humanity, not the handful of people it feels like who are pulling the puppet strings here, okay? We are coming to a completion, but you're going to hold a degree of resistance within you to the, to the degree that you feel like, I can't possibly imagine a better future for us. I can't possibly imagine, you know, us going back to a way of being where things feel normal. So therein is the crux of your resistance. We are not going back to normal, folks. Sorry, not sorry. And I hate to be blunt, but I've told you many times in here, I'm not the kind of teacher, healer, way shower, light bearer, etc. that blows smoke. Current, you know, pun intended. We got a lot of smoke up here right now and all over California, the Pacific Northwest, and even parts of Arizona, Utah, Nevada. We are wrapping up and closing out darker, denser energies. And we are, even though it doesn't feel that way, coming into and are being ushered into with the photon battle activity right now and ushering in this 9-9 portal. There's a lot of Syrian activity as well. We are ushering in a new lifetime timeline. Let's call it a timeline for the collective of humanity that is not going to look like or feel like what has come before. So I'm inviting you with this very quick talk here to let go of anywhere where you feel like stability or a new level of stability to, to take hold within you has to look like or feel like what has come before. Ask your higher self, all of your spiritual team of assistance to help you, let's just say, ground a level of information within you, a feeling, a knowing, some intuitive hit in a psychic center of your body that lets you know that, 
you know, something bigger and better is on the way. Even if you don't have the verbiage to be able to explain what that is, or you can't put your finger on that, but energetically there's a feeling that is expansive. Ask your spiritual team of assistance to let you know what this, you know, direction that we're going into can feel like. In a way that it lands with you, then that you can recognize it. That can you have some sense of it, some taste of it, okay? Understand that, you know, a lot of the spiritual assistance that we are getting right now, not all of those beings, entities, whatever you want to call them, have ever had an experience in a physical body. So unless we reach out to them and ask them very specifically sometimes, you know, hey, I need to know what this feels like in a body. Because some of your spiritual team that you work with, they have never been in a body. They don't know what it's like to be in that level of density. And your body is an incredible mechanism for giving you cues about what is true or what is false. If you don't believe me, you can watch the video that I recorded not that long ago about finding your place of truth and your falsehood in your body. In this lifetime, me talking to you here, me sharing our energy here, there is a common denominator for all of us in this physical 3D reality realm, and that is the body is the ultimate filter for your information. Any work you do, spiritual, physical, emotional, etc., anything, that you have an experience of, your body is ultimately the filter, the only filter for that, okay? So this is a time to make friends with your body and ask it for cues or allow you to be cued into where there's information coming in that maybe you have not experienced before. This 99 portal is a very powerful kind of, let's just say, trigger event for you being able to let's just say, energetically embody or make more usable these new energies coming in so they can start to create a new level of stability for you that feels like a sense of coming home or going home. A lot of the chaos and the confusion right now is sending you out of your body. This is bad. You know, we're trying to, let's just say, reject certain energies because if we're honest, it feels kind of painful to be in a body right now. You know, emotionally, we're going through a shit ton of upheaval. So much so that we feel very sad. We feel very disconnected. We feel like, you know, I don't know whenever I'm going to be able to get my bearings again. And so we stretch our consciousness so much that we want to go out of our body. Pull all of that back. All of those threads of your awareness that you've sent away out of a sense of despair or chaos, or confusion, uncertainty, do yourself a favor. Remind yourself several points throughout your day to call those threads of your awareness back. Call all parts and pieces of you back into your body. And ask that all psychic faculties come online. Ask your spiritual team of assistance to help you with that shift. Because what you'll start to notice when you become more mindful of that and start pulling all of your faculties to you more and more and asking for those spiritual cues to make, let's just say, these new energies that are coming in in a very vibrant and active photon belt right now to make all these energies coming in more usable in the body because it's going to provide you with a new level of information with which you will have different and new and exciting navigation capabilities, meaning you will have a knowing a feeling, a hearing, if you're clairaudient like me, of how to better navigate through these new energies. Because folks, the resistance you feel is based on this kind of clinging to an idea that we're going to go back to normal or we're going to go back to something that seems familiar like it was before. We are not going to fucking do that. I'm sorry to be so sweary. <laughs> but the 9-9 is really, yes, symbolic of a completion. But what happens with the ending of a cycle? It is always the ushering in of something new. The closing out is always and ever a handshake and energetic exchange, making a way for what's coming next. Hi, Maria. So some of the themes that are closing out, again, 
is that feeling of instability. But let go of an attachment to a certain outcome that a stability that's coming in is going to feel like a stability that you felt before or knew before, was familiar before. What is really going to happen, and I know this sounds really confusing as hell to hear, but there is going to be a stability that starts to take hold, that starts to create a foundation in the midst of all the instability you're feeling. Okay, never apologize for being sweary. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. I'm glad you got my back. Business as usual, that paradigm, those structures and ways of being that were really supporting just a handful of people on this planet in terms of giving them what they need while the rest of the masses were suffering, we are closing out that level of instability. Okay, we are. It's not like you're gonna see direct results of that tomorrow because we are working out a lot of different things in timelines and there has to be, let's just say, on a collective level, a collective agreement that we all want something better for the most of humanity, not the few in the human family, right? Collective timelines will collapse or re-energize or be made based on where the, the locus of attention is. If there is a tipping point of mass consciousness, it's going to create a whole new timeline, right? So as much as you can, let go of and allow yourself to close out and detach from the woe is me, oh my God, this is so horrible because you are projecting from your inner reality more of the same. You're not holding a vibration of what is good yet to come. You are holding a vibration of looking out at the external environment and saying, oh my God, this is so fucked up. When is this going to stop? <laughs> All I feel is chaos and confusion. Please understand you are projecting from that frequency of you then more of the same. Okay, your inner reality is always and ever creating your external reality, always and ever. It's not outside in, folks, it's inside out, okay? So we're also letting go of that kind of feeling where we think that our external reality is creating our inner reality. We're beginning to come into more of that, not intellectual reasoning of that, getting through that, but it's more of than a knowing, like, I, I know I'm creating this reality I'm seeing around me. And again, we're going to, you know, collectively influence the timeline of this planet if more and more people are coming together and starting to make this realization too. And simultaneously, holding a better and greater vision for what is next. You know, that's, that's the new beginning that we're moving into, okay? And I don't want you to say, oh God, I hope so. Because hope is a longing, which I talked about at the very end, the closing out of our summit. This kind of longing or wanting or hoping, it just sends out a projection of more longing or wanting or hoping. Declare in your energetic field from the sovereign God level of self that it is so. This reality that is the idealized version of reality that benefits the highest and most of all, it is so. Hold that energy already, that it's already there. That timeline already exists. We just have to completely and mass consciously match the frequency of it, okay? So we've got Mars retrograde going on too. You know, a lot of shadow world stuff here and you guys are like, oh, great. <laughs> but what feels like a breakdown because remember, we're talking about with, with nine being a completion number, we're always going to talk about the ending of something and the beginning of something because that is a handshake. It goes hand in hand. It's that energetic exchange. It is that commerce of the universe, which is energy. If something falls away, that means something gets created. If something is being created, that means something must give way or fall away or disperse or dissolve, right? So understand with this completion number, yes, Certain shadows that maybe we have, you know, played with for a while and said to ourselves, ah, you know, there's something deeper there, but I'll look at it later. Well, guess what? This kind of alignment of energies is going to do that for you. It's going to bring that up now because there is no other time 
than now. There is no past. There is no future. There are simply different expressions of the now. So what the universe is doing now is reminding you that there is only now. There is only you in this now. So anything that's coming up that is allowing you to reevaluate your life path, your direction, um, any triggers that keep coming up, it's going to come up in such high relief for you guys that you're not going to be able to deny it. So there is no better time than now to work on what's ready to be closed out in your field. What has outlived its use to you? What is undeniably ready to go? You've seen the same kind of scenarios, themes play out over and over again. It's getting boring and predictable, right? You're like, oh, this old chestnut again. Be done with it. Declare from that sovereign God self aspect of you that it is done. Ask for that final lesson to come in. Promise yourself that you are going to clean that up once and for all, and then declare it done, downloaded, complete. Okay. Understand these energies that are coming in. This doesn't make this stuff happen. It simply aligns with what we're feeling on a mass consciousness level, and it shines a light on everything that is in alignment with this particular portal, this theme. It'll shine all the sim shine a light on all the similar themes in your life happening right now that align with this portal and the energies and themes of this portal. So what are you waiting for? Because dispersing, dispensing with, dissolving this energy, clearing up these themes only creates free energy for you to put towards that which is your highest idealized version of reality and self. But until you free up that energy, you are siphoning off something of you, a part of you, a piece of you, a thread of your consciousness that is not serving you. It's done. Lesson learned, downloaded, complete. I'm ready for the next phase. And letting go of any sense of fear about what we're moving into as being unknown. Okay, yes, that is true. We are moving into the unknown, but we're doing that every single day we wake up. Anywhere you think you're not moving into the unknown, every single day that you wake up <laughs> and open your eyes to this world and get out of bed, you are always and ever greeting the unknown. It's only in our perception from an ego level of personality that we think we know what's coming. You don't. So why do you fear it in one way, but you don't fear it in another? We have nothing to fear. We have so much support right now. We really do. But it is up to you to call forth that support. And here's another theme that we are working on with life path issues. Letting go of that feeling that we have to do it all on our own. And I know this is going to hit a few of you in the fields. You don't have to do it all on your own. Let go of anywhere, anyhow you think in your reality or in your way of being or a personal reality and identity that you created for yourself that I'm only strong if I do it on my own. Who says? Whose voice is that? You know, where can you let go of maybe that was your mother or your father talking, your grandmother or a peer or a teacher talking or a husband or a wife or a kid? If you need help, you need to reach out. You need to understand that part of this ascension process, moving into unity consciousness, is about being in service to each other. Asking for help is like a fundamental stepping stone for that. Or seeing where you can be of help to other people is a fundamental stepping stone of unity consciousness, the Christed consciousness. It allows you to remember who you are and your divinity as your Christed self where you are here to serve and be in the highest level of service to others. And when you are in that place, you have everything that you need. That's, that's what we've been swindled out of believing for so long is thinking that if I give of myself, I'm going to be depleted. I'm not going to have anything left. Yeah. If you're giving from the ego personality level of self, where you feel like if you give away something, then you're going to lose something. That is a bullshit structure and paradigm that we did not create. There are powers that be that kind of created and perpetuated that idea to keep us in service to self mentality versus service to others mentality. It's designed to keep us 
feeling like we are other, we are separate from each other. There is no such thing. Bamboozled. Fucking A. <laughs> Absolutely. It's not true. It's not, it's not at all real at all. Remember that everything in this 3D reality realm is impermanent. Everything. The only thing that is permanent and lasting and infinite is your divine, divine Christ itself, is unity consciousness. That is what is real. That is impermanent. Or sorry, that, that is permanent. Everything else is 3D reality realm based. It is impermanent. The more we move out of 3D structures, certain things that are held in place by the 3D reality realm mentality, they will dissolve, they will disappear. I know that sounds odd, but material things that are 3D level creations, if there is no energy to support them at the 3D level, they will simply dissolve or fall away. That's why everything in this reality realm is impermanent. And that is why as we move into the lower matrices of 4D reality and then into 5D, things that have been held in place by 3D reality will just disappear, they will just go away. And that is exactly why they can't be taken into 4D or 5D because the energies don't support them there. So anything very low vibe, very a low in density, low frequency, you can't take that shit with you, folks. Your karma, your trauma, your hate, your blame, your resentment, okay? A lack of self-worth, lack of self-esteem. None of those frequencies are supported in the higher levels of 4D and in 5D. They will just go away or you will be forced back in density and perhaps invited to a different 3D reality realm. So I know there's a lot to go <laughs> on here, but I'm going to leave that with you. I know I could talk about this for about another hour or so, but I just wanted to give you guys some, some themes to play with here to understand what is closing out and that in order to anchor the new, these things must close out. And that is an active participation level that must exist. You have to be an active participant in what you want to close out. You can't just say, oh, it's the 9-9 portal. These energies are going to do it for me. No, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Infinite givers and receivers. I don't know what my keyboard just said. I wish that was <laughs> permanent. So I know that's a lot to think about. But this stuff that's coming up for review, take this in as the gift that it is. A gift of the universe showing you where there is greater opportunities for you to investigate what is holding you back, what is keeping you in resistance, what is keeping you in a place of thinking, oh, we're going to go back to normal, or I'm looking for that, that feeling of familiarity again. It's not going to exist that way anymore. Ask your spiritual team of assistants to help you have that feeling land with you in a way that you understand it and know what it is. Ask all the energetic transformers in your body, all the psychic centers to, to light up when this feeling comes in so you know what it is. You can't deny it. Okay. So happy 9-9 portal, everyone. And lots and love and peace. I know that there's many of you who are really suffering with the fires. So I'm asking all that you hear, if you could pray and send love and light to everyone in the Pacific Northwest and California and Nevada, Arizona, and even Utah, Idaho too. There's fires everywhere. Please send out lots of healing, love, and light. And thank you all for being here and watching. Love and peace.